All right, so once again, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome you all on behalf of Autodesk and specifically the manufacturing team of Autodesk. Welcome you all to this uh, second half of the day, which is more of breakout sessions. Uh, we'll be listening to a lot of eminent customers from Autodesk side who have used Autodesk as part of their daily manufacturing design process life cycle. And they're going to today share their experience as far as Autodesk journey is concerned. So with that note, let me first invite our first speaker for the afternoon, Mr. Venkateshan Bashim. Mr. Venkateshan is Associate Vice President at Leeboy Con India Construction Equipment since 2010. He is responsible for uh, product development of construction equipments from concept to full development cycle. Mr. Venkateshan has also worked at various capacity throughout his career for the last 30 years. His strong leadership skills mixed with his passion for problem solving has led to execution and implementation of various projects across geographies. He's a mechanical engineer by heart, and he brings with us uh, a very rich experience. And I would like to welcome Mr. Venkateshan, sir, as the first keynote speaker for this afternoon. Sure, sir, your experience definitely went help us in our day-to-day -day life going forward. Thank you once again. Friends, leaders from the industry, students and Autodesk team. Uh, first of all, just after the lunch, it's going to be really tough, but still I'll try to make it uh, as compact as possible. <laughs> I would like to thank Autodesk University for giving me an opportunity to present the trends in the road and construction sector. Uh, generally, it's, you can see the automobile industry and the aviation industries and all are technologically advanced industries. But uh, construction in equipment industry are always, we always say, the very simple and uh, mechanical kind of an industry. But that phase is, there is a big change is taking place. So let us start with, uh, uh, with a survey carried out by the World Economic Forum and uh, published as part of the Global Competitiveness Report in 201516. If you look at that report, apart from the corruption and other things, which we do not have a control, one of the thing was the inadequate infrastructure was listed as one of the biggest constraints of doing a business in India. The current government, led by Prime Minister, as they have taken, already taken a lot of steps to push rapid progress on the infrastructure. Uh, just a brief uh, look, uh, talks about the road and highways. India is the second largest network across the world. It carries both passenger traffic and also 65% of the freight are carried through the roads. So it is very important about a trillion of US dollar, a trillion investment is being planned in the 12th five year plan. A very important thing is after the sluggish one, the construction of the highways have reached the all-time high of 6,000 6, kilometers in the last year. That increased phase of construction we can all felt in our industry because practically from 2012, 2013, we had a very negligible growth. And we could clearly see there is an upward trend. Uh, why we have to talk about that is Construction equipment industry in India, if you look at that, it's not a mass-produced industry. When I say this unit, the number of unit, 48,000 or what, this consists of so many products. So very few products are all like automobile cars. Otherwise, if you see that it consists of everything, all the off highway equipments are classified under, under this category. So it's this particular graph clearly shows uh, there is a decline trend in 2012, 2013, and 14, and just a reversal of trend. 
and india genuinely needs better infrastructure so the 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 moment you need the better infrastructure all the construction equipment industries will fulfill that particular gap in fact if you see in india every major manufacturers of construction equipment industry you have komatsu larsen and tubro uh, you have caterpillar everybody is here so there is absolutely no problem there is a complete change is taking place and we feel because of this uh, present government's initiative on the infrastructural structure we we expect this to grow by 30% by 2020 uh, let me introduce about leibai leibai is a company uh, it's a 51 year old brand from usa it has got lot of products uh, road and maintenance products we have always best in class products we have a global network facilities we have a manufacturing facilities in usa india and also in brazil we have a sales car packages as well we would like to tell you the leibai is owned by st kinetics the st kinetics is biggest uh, member of st engineering group the st engineering group is a integrated engineering group uh, basically we are in the defense business they wanted to move into the uh, basically on the construction equipment sector they started acquiring lot of companies in uh, china as well as in us then this company that leibai india was started in 2010 with the aim to produce products not only for india but also for the global requirements uh see uh, we would like to talk about what we said about make in india that make in india whatever we started this particular industry in 2010 with the aim to produce uh, definitely we cannot strip down the product for the indian market we have to offer an equivalent product which is available in europe or an us the same quality you should uh you should offer to the indian customer at an affordable cost so if you look at that we have never ever uh, co compromised on the cost and we have used the best of class items so without making a compromise we make a product the same products we make it for india as well as for the abroad it's very very important thing is uh if you look at that uh there are uh, in india whatever the products when we make especially in the construction equipment sector it is designed only for india because it has got lot of things which cannot be supported abroad maybe outside india uh first and foremost thing is we have we have uh, taken a decision to use all the drive line components and which are worldwide serviceable and we can extend warranty for all the products so if we have to use these products we have to definitely use not indian standards we have to use iso standards both for the safety and also the operational performance metrics that the the product whatever you get in india and abroad are exactly same a very important thing is we started with a motor grader which is not manufactured in india whereas the other products like in excavators and back loaders are manufactured in india we began with a motor grader we have showed our capability of uh, versatility of this product and we could make a big uh, entry into the construction equipment sector uh, it was always uh, the caterpillar and komatsu were the dealer a leader in the segment we were able to make a big difference in the segment uh, let me take some the trends in the industry see construction equipments are all basically simple mechanical equipment that's was the 
thing we were been used to that there is a big shift is taking place i am not talking about i am not going to talk about the what are the important criteria of the product development product development criteria could be performance and uh, what is the uh, uh, output per meter liter of diesel all the things are always there apart from that what are the changes we are going to see it's very important thing is uh, we have moved away from the after the breakdown post breakdown maintenance of the machines to preventive diagnostic that's a big change has taken place if we have to change over from the post breakdown to the uh, preventive maintenance schedule that means we need to monitor so health monitoring it becomes a very critical thing if we have to use health monitoring we have to use lot of electronic electronic displays electronic uh, uh, pressure transducer and everything we have to have that and these are all becoming very standard features of the machines mechatronics electronic controllers are all it's a order of the day you have the fuel injection pumps are working at a very high pressures which are very susceptible to all the even the adulteration and other things still we have to offer by 2020 the entire industry uh, construction equipment industry will be moving to tier 4 so uh, for the motor grader segment a continuously variable transmission which consists of both uh, mechanical with a lot of electronics control these are the things are going to be the standard for the future the emission norms in india we are lagging behind in the emission norms currently we are at bs3 uh, whereas if you look at all the us and other segments they were already in the tier 4 their tier 4 final we would be launching the tier 4 products somewhere in 2021 the the moment we talk about tier 4 lot of electronics comes into that and the important thing is everybody thinks all these tier 4 and uh, all these advanced uh, uh, engines will have a fuel efficiency which is not the case it's very difficult to have a better fuel uh, uh, better fuel efficiency and also the emission these are the two different things so we have to do lot of things to get an optimized solution so it's going to be a lot of electronics engines and electronics engine means there is going to be uh, the it's it is a which are high pressure fuel pumps with the engine diagnostic which can be serviced only by the engine support team highly refined after treatment all these customers are not used to that still we need to uh, provide and we need to educate them exhaust packaging is going to be a big huge in size and also the cost of the engine goes it goes to about 30 to 40 percent which is also going to increase the cost of the equipment these are the going to be a big changes and uh, see we moved away from the the telematics and the systems grade control systems are out of the day if you look at that every equipment which is working all over india it's very difficult to monitor and find out the health of the machine with the telematics with the electronic display gauges uh, both the manufacturer and also the end user can have a health of the machine and also in case there is a fuel theft we can get a fuel alerts as well we have lot of things like what is the utilization of the equipment what are the idle hours everything we can find out where is the location of the asset everything is possible with the we work with the trimble and uh, in the topcon in the us if you look at that we have there is a tremendous change in the product support suppose sales care whatever we call it as we need to offer because it's a very difficult thing to offer because generally we make a call to the customer customer says there is a breakdown we need to understand what is the breakdown so with the help of the telematics the service engineer when he visits he carries all the tools not only the tools and the parts required to to maintain 
to maintain that back. So this is very, it's possible with the help of a lot of things we have to do. We have to have uh, the mobile apps for the service engineer. Then we have to have the dealer portal to take care of the orders. All the things, we, every industry is working towards that. A ORM package, normally people give AMC, annual maintenance contract. We offer not only AMC, we also op give operator as well. That's why we call it as a operations and repairs and maintenance. Operations also, even the operators, we offer them, which help them, which we remove the pain point of the, our customers. A very important thing is skilled manpower. If you look at the skilled manpower, the training is very, very critical for the electronic equipment usage. And uh, it's very important thing is, practically we bring the people to our school, we call it as a Lee Boy Edge, where we give them the train and they have a hands-on experience. Very important thing is, training is not only the operation, but also the preventive maintenance, what we are talking about. Uh, another thing is trends in the product engineering department. It's no longer single uh, CAD platform we use. We use both SolidWorks as well as Creo and AutoCAD. We have we have worked with uh, uh, Autodesk. Uh, they have provided a solution for the Vault, the data management system. It is uh, they helped us to achieve able to work with the, all the three with, with seamlessly without much of a problem because otherwise it was used to have two separate data, there is no interconnectivity and uh, multiple, uh, there are multiple datas were available. And we have integrated with the ERP as well. So the advantages of the design synchronization, revision management, the bill of metal management, everything what we have done is we have worked with the vault and the outputs are more pushed into the, our SAP. We use ERP as software uh, SAP. So there is uh, no, uh, that parts and other things, there is no duplication of parts. There is a good amount of library integrity, no duplication of parts. And uh, this reduces a lot of work. There are a lot of things uh, we, we, when we implemented the Autodesk Vault, we have done a lot of work in that where we have eliminated a lot of uh, manual work. So if you look at implementing the Vault, we could, a lot of savings we could do. Uh, that revision is a very major issue. That we could eliminate considerably. And uh, naturally these the, the work involved we could reduce, so the work output is also goes up. A complete elimination of duplication of parts, that we have could completely eliminate. So this we, we could do with the help of uh, the Autodesk. So this is what uh, my short presentation. Thanks for, uh, thanks for your listen. Thank you.